Mary Meets Everyone. I'm going to be doing a reading for Need Inside. I'm going to be using the Quest Tarot. This is the backs, and these are the fronts. And I know you like this deck, so that's why I wanted to use it with you. Um, as you can see, I have a little candle on. So I usually have one on all the time when I do readings. I try to do also have incense at the same time, but I, you can never see it when I do the readings, but let me, I just had this candle close by, so decided to put it around. Thought it would be nice and soothing for the reading. So I'm going to be doing a yes or no reading for her regarding a lawsuit, and, and it's going to be, um, it's going to go through in December. Um, she needs to um, go to court, I believe, or um, so she wants to know if this lawsuit is going to be on go for her favor or, or go to her favor. Um, I think that was I think is the best way to word it. So if it's going to go to your favor, yes or no. Okay, I'm going to be using number 9, since 9 is a number of completion and a number of abundance. So let's see. I guess we need to put these down here. see how many uprights. I have one and two uprights. The rest are reversed. Um, even though we do have the sun and the star of hope in this reading, which is very incredible. So the cards are saying no. Um, there's something that's not going to go to, through as being in your favor, but there's going to be some strong points that are going to be on your, to your benefit. So let's see what exactly is going on. Center to the issue, we have the Father or the King of Cups in reverse. And this is a man here they're talking about, which is a man that's very disheartened, very, has a bad heart, has a bad vibe in general. And he's coming very strongly in your reading as negative against you regarding this situation. Um, so it's talking about a man here, um, and maybe this could be the judge uh, or the lawyer in the other side, but it looks like there are negative things that are not to your favor that this person is kind of preparing against you presently, or there's something negative there with this man. However, crossing this, we have the death in reverse, and the death in reverse is saying there's going to be a change. However, that change is going to be not positive, okay? When the death, death card comes up in reverse, it's saying that there is some negative influences crossing this situation that we're asking about. And this man definitely has some negative things that are not to your favor. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's saying that it, there is going to be some changes that won't be positive for, for you in regards to this question that you've asked me for the court case. So basically this is saying there's some negative influence crossing this um, and there's going to be some unexpected changes 
um, that you didn't expect. Um, also, there's going to be some like some kind of sadness due to this because of the injustices that they have done um, to you. And also, what I'm seeing here is basically, it's talking about, I feel, this, this death card in reverse. It's talking about, there's something that is going to kind of fall apart. Uh, an, an, ideal, an idea that was very strong, um, or a, a cause, or something that this man, or this, the whole case is about. There's something that's going to just fall apart totally, okay? So that's what this is saying, and it's not going to be very positive, okay? Underneath you, we have the set six of coins, or stones, or pentacles, in reverse. So... This is the foundation. This is the underlying card. And this is one of the most important cards um, that talks about the unexpected. Okay, when I say foundation, it's basically the unexpected. Or it could be something that we already do know, but it's, it's very, very important in order to continue the reading. Because this is an important part of the reading. So the Six of Stones talks about kind of not receiving what you wanted, okay? Not receiving exactly what you wanted or expecting to receive from this case. Um, that's what this card is saying. That's the unexpected. Um, and it's basically, you're not also receiving the guidance sufficiently in order to, to tackle the, the, um, the, the case. You definitely need some guidance. That's what the cards are saying. You need some guidance from a higher being a higher, you know, person that knows more about this than you do. Um, I know that law could be very, very difficult when we don't know much about it, and especially regarding court cases and things like that. Now, recent past, we have the star, and the star talks about something very positive that did happen to you regarding this. Uh, recently, you had some good news of some sort or something that looked kind of hopeful to you, um, and even though you feel alone sometimes, you do have a lot of protection around you because this is you here and there's a darkness around you but there is the star of hope there is good things good energies around you that are helping you through this situation and the very interesting part that i have here is that you have the sun in the near future regarding this so even though we have some reversals they're telling me uh the cards here the sun there is going to be some happiness too so there's going to be some negativities that are going to upset you very much however but the at the end of the day there's going to be some happiness too there's going to there's going to be something very positive coming out of all this at the end so that's what this is talking about this is a very promising card at the end and we have the nine of swords in reverse so it's saying that all the obstacles and all the situations that are very challenging are kind of are going to unblock or kind of there's going to be like an open path there's going to be basically like a path that's going to open in front of you um, in order for you to continue walking through the situation. So there was pretty much a wall in front of you um, and, and throughout all this time, um, throughout the last four years. And finally, you're going to see the light again. You're finally going to be able to see the light. Um, there is going to be some positive things. Now, the cards pretty much said no because the four, there were four reversals. Um, and when they come up so much in reverse like that, basically they're telling us no. However, we did get very good cards at the end. So what I'm seeing and my intuition tells me is there, there's going to be some good things that are going to happen. But there's, going, there's some things that are not going to go through as you want them to. And please be careful with this man. There's a man here, and this could be the attorney from the other side, that is having some not good things that are he's planning against you the day of the trial. Okay. So the question was if it's going to go to your favor. Right now they're saying no, it's not going to go to your favor. However, there is going to be some good things too that are going to happen and are going to result from this. And there is going to be justice that's going to be made. But um, there's going to also be um, some good things, and, and there's going to be some good things coming out of it. 
Okay, so for now, things don't look as positive. The cards are, gui are asking for you to get some guidance. But in general, they're saying right now things don't look as positive in regards to having it to your favor 100%. They're saying no, there is some negativity going on. Okay, and the other person does have a lot of things that are to their favor. And it has to do with this lawyer that they have. Okay, hope you've enjoyed my reading. And let me know if you have any other questions regarding this matter or anything else. Many blessings.